in a cornfield on a nice hot humid July day and we're looking at corn diseases that are popping up in the fields. And I'm out here to show you three different diseases that we're seeing in plants out here in this field and also across Indiana. And the first one I want to talk about is common rust of corn. It shows up usually about this time. It's an easily identified disease. So you can see here we have some um, brown to brick red pustules popping through this epidermis of this leaf. If you run your finger along, you can feel the raised pustules on the leaf surface. And you'll also probably get a brown discoloration from the fungal spores that are released from those pustules. It's also noticeable on the back side of the leaf as well. Now these are usually identified in the upper canopy first because these spores blow in on air currents and are deposited in the upper canopy. We're also starting to see northern corn leaf blight appear on some of our plants. And you can see here, this is a typical lesion of northern corn leaf blight. It's a very long, wide, um, typically we say cigar-shaped lesion on this plant. And if you look at it with your hand lens, you can usually see a mass of fungal spores in the middle of this lesion. We're also seeing a lot of gray leaf spot up here in Indiana at this point in time. This is a disease that can be economically damaging in Indiana and may require a fungicide application for management. We have had perfect conditions for this disease. Very warm, humid weather, and it likes those very heavy dews that we have in the morning. And so this is one that if you're scouting fields and you see any of these rectangular, blocky lesions that are forming on the lower leaves and then moving up the plant, it might you might consider a fungicide application if you have a susceptible hybrid.